Yo, 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 it's Mac Touch 101, and I'm doing a Wednesday show, and I'd like to announce that Mac Touch 101 is now going to a Tuesday and a Friday video, so all you subscribers, all my 14 loyal subscribers, uh, we'll get two videos a week, well, I'll try to, because I'm getting kind of schoolwork, so anyway, if you're watching this, subscribe. So today, you're going to see a an application called Pencil, which is just like Adobe Photo, like, like Adobe Flash. It's awesome. It's it's free. Obviously, I only do freeware. It's it's awesome. I it's worth the download definitely. So you go into this website. Well, I'm just click down the link for another website. But yeah, that's basically the link. Boom. Okay. Click on download pencil blank 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 and you download this. And this is so great for people who don't feel like spending a thousand dollars on flash. But it's kinda buggy. I mean it's free, I'm not gonna complain a lot. But it's great. It it's not as good though, but it's got like onion skinning and you can add new things and it so when it's done downloading, send it to Finder. I already downloaded it. So you once you un once you com uncompress that, you just you have folder and you click on this pencil. Oh, so it's great. See, you know, I'll I'll do a pencil. It's awesome. See, and it's definitely worth the download because. It's way better than Adobe Photoshop, no doubt. Not not Adobe Photoshop. It's way better than Adobe Flash because it's free. Even though Adobe Flash has way more features, but you can also make like movies out of it. See, it's oh my god, it's great. Uh, and you can export it as different fe uh, formats. So you can put it on like new grounds if you save it as a flash or something like that. I'm just throwing random stuff out there. I'm just thinking of random stuff because I didn't have this one planned. Well, I never do, but rummaging through, you know, you know what, I, you know how I'm like. So that's basically it. Let me just turn the onion skin off. And basically, it, you can color it, see? And you can go like the vector layer, whatever that is. I don't know what vector layer is. You're gonna have to help me with this. So, that's basically it. It's a little buggy, as you can tell. You can definitely tell it's a little buggy. Well, sometimes it automatically shuts down on me. And, uh, see, you can set the frames per second, make it faster. Faster means it goes quicker, so I'll be like. Well, I'm gonna crap, come out really crappy. But see, in the video before, it's gonna come out very a lot faster. See, and if you have more frames per second, you're gonna have to make more gradual lines. And saying it's not like that if you're doing less frames per second and you're doing. You can't be like that, see? It's not as noticeable if you're doing slow frames per second. But if you're doing a lot of frames per second, you're gonna go really, you gotta go really slow, like be like that, and then add new one. And you know, just copy on it. Basically, you go exactly over it. Let you leave a little bit left, and you just gradually make your better. And this is uh, this is Wickham tablet. Uh, you can use this with the Wickham tablet, even though I don't have one. But you can use it if you really want to for all those Wigum tabletters out there. So that's basically it. Uh, once I found it, I was like, oh, yo, I got to show this to all my viewers. Subscribe. Ma no, make sure you subscribe. Just don't even don't even comment or rate. You know, just subscribe. This is great. And in the comment se selection down there, you know where guys is. Comment. I want to know what you guys want. I'm not running out of ideas. I just want to know if you guys want to know how to jailbreak the iPod 2G or you just want more freeware.
I'll let you guys know, or I might be doing iPod uh, applications and showing you how to do stuff. But that's basically it, and just, just be good, guys. Alright? Bye.